Hi everyone, Peter from Booster Busters here today, bringing you an early look at Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. We've got a full booster box to open today on the channel, straight from Japan. Uh, obviously, it released in Asia, not out in Europe or the US yet. That's coming May 15th. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open, look at the packs. I'm not gonna focus too much on card value. As you know, everything is kind of all over the board before release. Um, some top hitters so far, Fiend Artisan, uh, the Brood Moth, uh, Lurus of the Dream Den, who else did we have? Uh, Narset, the, the Triome Lands. Um, so prices are, you know, obviously not very reflective of what we'll see after release. So I won't focus on that too much, but uh, yeah, let's crack it open without further ado and see what we get. I love the uh, I love the red. I'm a big fan of the red here, the red artwork on the box right here. I love this color. Oh, come on! I swear these get more and more difficult every time they open. This is the Japanese printing. Let me just show you guys. We are going for the Made in Japan version, obviously, these being straight out of Japan. All right, we have the box topper. That's gonna be fun. We'll open that one in a few packs. Our stacks got a little bit jangled up in here. Let's get these out. Get the box out of the way. My goodness. Keep forgetting the uh, Japanese packs are a little bit. Are these a little bit different? Yeah, they've got the little pull tab and are longer. Alrighty. Let me just get those stacks in order there for you guys. Our box topper right here. Let's start off with pack number one. I love that pull tab. We're gonna slow roll through through a few of these. Um, at first, just so you guys can get acquainted. Uh, well, obviously these are the Japanese packs. We've got a little bit different ordering here. We're going from, from the back, she said. All right, so we got, wow, first, first, first hit. We got a triome. I'm very curious to see how these hold up. Um, I'm a big fan of these. Um... You know, we'll have to see what, what kind of usage they get, uh, but definitely very, very cool cards. Always, always been a big fan of lands. All right. And we've got Easy Prey, Dinosaur Lion, Dragon. That's cool. Another crazy dragon. Um, sorry, Dragon. Another crazy Lightning Lion. All righty. And the common. So, like I said, we'll just do two packs, slow rolling, kind of let you guys get a feel for some of the artwork. That's very nice artwork. Survivor's Bond. Making friends with the monsters. All right. Uh, these are... I've got a few... I was traveling around a bit. I've got a few Japanese boxes, and I just love love the Japanese printings. It's so much different. Who pacifism? Love this artwork for pacifism. The print quality. I mean, it's I can tell the difference between you know if it's Japanese or if it's a, a, a different American or European printing. They just feel. You can even feel the difference. All right, let's do a slow roll of pack number two. And then we can speed things up a little bit. Another human soldier token. A, I thought, well, okay. Did, all right. Oh, okay. I guess this can, uh, the common land cycle can replace a normal, normal land. All right. We've got a foil common land. Too bad it's not a triome. Dismal black backwater for our first foil. 
and a Slither Wisp. Very cool. All right, Wingspan Mentor. Weaponize the monsters. And a Parcel Beast. Very cool artwork there. And a Shredded Sails. Another Survivor's Bond. Blazing Volley. Snare Tactician. Anticipate. Dead Weight. Day Squad Marshal. Pyro Ceratops. And a Night Squad Commando. All right, very cool. Um, like I said, it's time to speed things up now, guys. So we'll, that was it for the slow roll commons. Let's speed things up with pack number three. Token, land, ooh, and a foil rare. All right, Lava Brink Venturer. Foil rare, look at that shiny goodness, all right. That's, wow, that feels, that feels thick. Look at that, that's thick and straight. Wow, I'm curious to see if the uh, other printings I have coming from Europe will be the same, but wow. That is thick and straight. My goodness. All right. You're going to have the Wellspring Mentor Harvester Nightbrand. All right. Let's keep it going. Oh, this little pull tab is just so nice. Human Soldier Tranquil Cove. Nice. All righty. And Ruinous Ultimatum for our rare. Uh, are you guys excited about Akoria? Who's been playing on Arena? Uh, we had the Arena. Wow, that's, sorry, going to lose my train of thought there because that is a really cool token. Kraken token. Very nice. All right, ooh, and a Windscarred Crag. All right, Offspring's Revenge. Slowly roll the Uncommons, boom. Um, yeah, so who's been playing on Arena? We had the, uh, obviously the release of Ikoria there has not been delayed. Ooh, okay, first Mythic. Ryle the Everwise. Ryle? Rayleigh? Ryle? Rail? Um, I think this was holding up as an over $20 mythic now. Obviously, you know, we will see how that changes and fluctuates, but um, very cool. Good, good hit for our first mythic. All right. And a Catra Crystal. Ooh, baby. Okay. I wonder if these can be in the common slots. Maybe we'll have a quick look through these alternate arts. I don't think so. I think it's only the rare uncommon mythics. Very cool, very cool. Maybe we'll set you to, to the side here. I like that artwork. All right, just a quick, I don't think, yeah, I don't think, I like to leave myself a little bit surprised so I've haven't been looking at all the card spoilers just because, uh, you know, I want to have some fun and surprise myself. Look at, look at this. What are, are you like a deer, antler, tiger, crazy beast thing? All right. Rugged Highlands and boom of, ah, oh, wait, sorry. That's a foil. Didn't notice the foiling at first. Very cool. Yorian Sky Nomad for our rare. Very cool. Just a quick. All right. Slowly winding down to the end of our first stack. Let's pick things up a little bit. Genesis Ultimatum for another Ultimatum. Ooh, Zargoth Crystal. Look at that art. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna do a little reordering of my piles here just because it's a little bit easier this way. There we go. All right. Well, 
help me let me pick things up. Token land labyrinth raptor for our rare. Uncommons, no alternate art works there. Or I guess comic, maybe we should call it comic artwork. Wow, these just feel feel nice. Really nice. All right, Island. Ooh, another foil. Coordinated charge. Very cool. Oh, and I love, love these cave style drawing artworks. Of course, by good old Seb. Uh, Mythos of, Mythos of Vadrock. Very cool. And our uncommons and our commons. Let's just move this stack over here to give ourselves a more room. All right, a companion. There we go. Uh, we haven't pulled one of these tokens yet. Obosh, the Pry Piercer. Pray Piercer. All righty. And a little bit. There we go. That's what I want. All right. Now I'm happy with my stacks, finally. All right, let's keep it going. The last pack of our first stack. I wish they gave codes um, for Arena, like in Pokemon, you get the online codes. Okay, our first Planewalker, the alternate art version of this guy is amazing. Uh, I've seen the Tiger King memes with this guy. Uh, that's going to be popular. Second Mythic, Luca, uh, Outcast. Alrighty. Put you in our Mythic pile. And the Uncommons. Oh, hey, hello. Whoa. That is pretty cool. Look at that artwork. Boneyard Lurker Beast. Ah, Bristling Boar. Who remembers Bristling Boar? All right, on to stack number two. Let's get cracking. Token, land. Oh, yes. Currently sitting at number two uh, in terms of pricing, obviously subject to change, but Lurus of the Dream Den. Cat Nightmare making those cat decks. All right. And a Bastion General's. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. And a Hunt Master Liger. Again, perfect timing. Tiger King. Tiger King in Magic the Gathering. Very cool. Very cool artwork. Put you there. Hey, Evolving Wilds. That's a very nice artwork for Evolving Wilds. Alrighty, let's keep going. Token, Land, and a Whirlwind of... Oh, let me get you guys in, back in focus. Whirlwind of Thought. Mamba. Alright, that... I'm really excited. Oh, okay. Little pop-out tokens. Uh, definitely didn't know these were here. Very cool. Uh, nice. We'll set that off on its own little separate item pile. Ooh, and another Seb McKinnon cave painting. Mythos of the Neth of Nethroi. Very, very cool artwork. Okay, well, a little spoiler. These alternate artworks are for the uncommon slots as well. That's cool. I'll have to go through those and, and see what we got for the commons. But uh, very cool. Big fan of that artwork for sure. Oh. 
unpredictable cyclone for our rare. Alrighty, keep it cracking. Shark. And as, uh, wait, does, does that mean it's foil? It is, wow, I can, it's hard to see the foiling, but yeah, very cool. It is a foil. All right, and we've got Karuga, the macro sage. Very cool. And some foxes and a shark. What do you guys think so far of Ikoria uh, from the spoilers? I've, my reaction is very positive towards the set. I know some people were a little bit, um, you know, freaking out over Godzilla, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. Oh my God, let me make sure to get this awesomeness for you guys on camera. Wow, this alternate artwork foiling is just amazing it looks so freaking cool i don't know if i can get the lighting and camera to do it justice but wow that is badass well done well done wizards oh wait that's a foil so we put you in the foil pile and we got kogla the titan a Bought by Crystal, Blitz, and Skybunder. Very cool. Very cool. All right, we're getting halfway through our second stack. Uh, we've been going a little bit slow. All right, Crystalline Giant. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, maybe, no, maybe this. Again, having trouble deciding what my pile order should be. Alrighty. Cracking some more. We got another one of these. Uh, I'm interested to see how many we can actually pull from a box. Ooh, Cub Warden. Very cool. That was the wrong pile. Alright, very cool. Again, lots of lion, tiger, creature cats here. Definitely, you know, if someone's looking to make a deck like that, that would be very cool. Let me just move these off to the side. Four more packs in our first stack. Let's keep it going. Token, Swamp, a Foil Wilt. Very cool artwork. Move that, oh, sorry, in the Foil Pile. Voracious Great, Voracious Great Shark. And a flare Sterix. And these over here. Uh, well, I'm curious to see, you know, Akoria is gonna be an interesting set. Uh, obviously we're in very interesting times. Uh, you know, LGSs are closed or functioning, you know, halfway online. It's definitely, you know, an interesting time, and it makes you wonder, what's what's the print? Ooh, yes. Yeah, every time I try to get into a talk, I get distracted by an awesome hit. Gem Razor. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Loving, loving the artwork. Uh, we'll put you here in these alternate artworks, I guess. All right. Uh, yeah, so where was I? Uh, Ikoria is going to be interesting, you know? It, it just makes you wonder, what's what, what's the print one going to be? I, I would predict, you know, they print less uh, just because it's probably harder to sell. I don't know. Or maybe people order more online and the sales, sales aren't hurt at all. Perhaps. Foil, Whisper Squad. Why are these guys making their own squad? And uh, Lava Brink Venturer, we had you in foil already, but uh, sure. And a Crystal Fight is one, and one more. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to see, but I don't know. I would probably expect 
sales to take a little dip. Maybe Wizards is cautious with the print run this time around. Um, you know, due to all the lockdown stuff and the LGS, you know, closings and, and operating, um, you know, at online capacities. So it'll be interesting to see where we land. And, you know, down the road, what the value of this set becomes. Um, you know, if the print run is low enough, maybe this is a good, you know, sealed investment. I don't know. Obviously, no one knows. You cannot predict the future. So it's, it's hard to tell. But nevertheless, I think it's going to be a fun set. Definitely great, great artwork. Loving it. Snare Tactician foil. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, uh, my absolute favorite possibility uh, for these extended alternate arts would be to get a triome. And we've got Katria, 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 triome. Very, very cool. Let me get that up close for you guys. Awesome, awesome artwork. Love it. Put you here. Yep, oh, another one. All right. Yep. So, yeah, it's going to, you know, Ikoria has the chance to be a very interesting product in the history of Magic. Or maybe not. Or maybe it ends up just being a normal product. Everyone just buys a whole bunch of it online. And we are, you know, there's no difference in it for Wizards. But I think, you know, this all this lockdown stuff will, is bound to have... At least a slight impact. So, we will see. Whoo! Okay, okay. Foil Mythic. Fiend Artisan. Very cool. This is the top card right now of, as of, you know, if you're looking on some various websites, um, you know, MTG Goldfish, for example, um, Obviously, it's all, you know, the real numbers we will know upon release. But, yeah, this is a $30 Mythic right now. Uh, foil version. Very cool. Okay. We'll see how that holds up. Titan's Nest. All right. Let's pick things up a little bit again. Stiff water, still uh, swift water cliffs. Stiff water, Jesus. Uh, channeled force foil, and another, another mythic, very cool Vadrock Apex of Thunder. All right, halfway through our final stack. Okay, wow. We'll get in the Mythics and the Mythics. Kinnon, Bonder, Prodigy. Very cool. Okay, he's a, he's a popular card at the moment as well. We'll see how that hold ups, hold, holds up. And a Lore Dracus. My goodness, this artwork is really cool. Really cool. Alrighty. Keep it going, eh? Another one of these token needs. I'll give them a count. And a Quartz Wood Crasher. All right, let's see what we get. Thornwood Falls Foil and a Colossif Colossification. Giant, giant kitty. All right, we're down to our final five packs. Let's keep it going. Human soldier token. A mountain. And the Ozolith. Very cool. I love this artwork. Interest, really interested to see what this card does. Uh, if there can be really cool synergies, but um, like the artwork a lot. Golden Wilds. All right, four more packs to go. 
Narset token, or sorry, emblem, and a Hunted Nightmare. Very cool artwork. Let me make sure that we got enough lighting for you guys to be able to appreciate that artwork. Alrighty, last three packs. Shark, Planes, oh, oh baby. Snapdax, Apex of the Hunt. Wow. Badass. I love what they have done with these artworks. That's fantastic. Great, great decision. Another mythic. Where do we, I guess we'll put you here in the mythic pile. Did we have a mythic here? Are you a mythic? No. Okay. We'll put you in the mythic pile when we count up the mythics. But um, surprisingly, large amount of mythics so far. Two more packs left. Let's give them a count at the end. Beast. Ooh. Foil Mythos of Nethroi. Again, Seb McKinnon. Cave style artworks. Uh, great idea. I love the art direction for the set. Definitely a big fan. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Ooh, Death's Oasis. All right. Last pack. And then we will do a very quick recap for you all. Ooh, Mythos of Snapdex, very cool. Or Snapdax, I guess. And a crystal, all right. That was our last pack. Wow, all right, let's do a very quick recap for you guys. Uh, if you're interested, we got four of these Punch-Out token cards. Pretty cool. Gone through the uh, commons for two more of these alternate artworks. Um, so it seems like we do get a fair amount of these alternate arts in a box. Very cool. Uh, Gem Razor and obviously the, the Triome. Very, very cool. Uh, we got one Triome. Um, but obviously with it being the alternate art one, that is a fantastic hit. Oh, of course, the box topper. How could I forget? Let me do that. Is there no pull tab for you? I guess there is no pull tab for you. All right. Who can we get? Let us see, let us see, let us see. And done. Destroy ya. Perfect life form. Phoenix, very cool. Very cool, that's our box topper. Or, sorry, our buy, buy a box, promo, is that buy a box? Well, no, box topper, okay. Kept calling it box topper. Uh, mythics, we've got five mythics plus one foil, giving us a total of six mythics, very nice. Obviously very excited about our boy here, Snapdax. Very cool pull, very cool pull. Lots of foils. Um, I know they increased the number of foils, but... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 foils. Wow, that's that's pretty good. A parcel beast. Very cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know what cards you're most excited for in Ikoria. Um, and you know, more openings coming. And if you made it to the end, make sure to subscribe because I will have an exclusive Ikoria giveaway coming to the channel. We are going to give away some Ikoria bundle boxes. So make sure to subscribe and not miss uh, that. Thanks for tuning in everyone.